Emily, what, are, what, what I'd like to do is to examine also your hand, checking for the distance radio joint problem. The first thing we want to do is just to put your hand to full range of motion, pronation or supination, and I want you to do it just yourself. Just move, and there's no pain there. The other no hand. Pain. Yeah. And then we are going to check the proximal part of the radiola joint, called the proximal radiola joint, but it's half of a joint here. And then we check the distal radiola joint, make sure that there's no grinding there. And we check now for stability in pronation, we should have no movement whatsoever of the radius against the ulna. And in supination, it should be very stable there. But in neutral, there's a little bit of movement between the radius and the ulna, and you can see it moves a little bit, and everybody's the same. So we move here. In pronation, there's no motion whatsoever. In supination, we have no motion whatsoever. And once again, in neutral position, we have a little motion. That is normal. The other thing we need to find out is if we have any discomfort while lifting. So if you can stand up for me, mm -hmm. please. And I'm going to put both of my hands. You put 90 degree, and I lift, put my hand in mm -hmm. the mid forearm, ask you to lift, and now you lift, then turn the hand facing up and facing down. If you have any pain at that point, the VIJ will be the, the culprit there. You can see it again. Okay. And uh, if there is no pain, and the patient comes from any pain on the other side, you go to the next step. The next step is to have the hand in full pronation and move in all the deviation to find out if there's, if there's any pain. Most of the time, there is any in the abutment between the carpus and the ulna and that pain. If there's no pain there, then the next thing to do is to find the pastoral joint, check in this area. And lastly, go to the area of the feet and for the metacarpus there is no pain. No pain in that area, we discard the possibility that it's a nerve in a, in a, in a joint problem. The possibility is that it's a nerve problem. Then we are going to tap on the cubital problem area or the Guillaume's canal. No problem then that we have moved to the, to the neck because if we cannot reproduce the pain, the pain is not in the joint, it's somewhere else. So that's the way we examine the distal joint. Thank you.